Hey guys, yes, here for another Stardust tutorial and let's create this bouncy text intro using Stardust and also explore the bounce type. So first we can let's create the text. And set the Sardus meter to emit from the text source. So change the type to text mask and add the layer properties, just select our text layer. Now you, you have this. Uh, add the emitter. Let's put the X speed speed to zero. And also increase the particles per second, maybe 2000. Now you can see clearly our text. Cool. Uh, if we let's also change the particle properties, select some cool colors, render from gradient, and let's get this maybe ultraviolet color. Cool. Uh, so let's put the motion node here and change the motion type to bounce. And now you can get this kind of uh, bouncy particles. Uh, we need to uh, do some fine adjustment here. And so what's going on in the background here? Uh, it's getting the particles are getting this kind of uh, movement, so uh, it bounces, and in an exponential way, it decreases the energy. It lost lost some energy, and you have the amplitude and the frequency, and also the decay of this of the energy, and this is the same property. So if we, uh, for example. Just put the decay to zero. It's a non-stop movement. And also if we just set up the amplitude to, I don't know, 500. So it goes way far and after that it's losing the energy. It's and it's forming the, the ladder. So let's put the amplitude to 200. And the frequency, let's increase a little bit, maybe 300. And it's a little bit confusing. So with some tricking, we can just adjust the settings. Uh, at the over life settings, maybe at the beginning, it's getting too much with the size. So if we but this kind of graph, now you have, yeah, it's uh, it's more smooth now. And maybe you can put at the opacity, the same graph shape. Cool. Now it's way cleaner. Let's tweak a little bit of the, uh, the motion node here. Uh, and also you can explore more. Uh, if we like change the type to offset and let's increase the offset here. Now you can get this kind of result. Yeah, it's good. But let's come back to the point. And maybe 369 at the angle, you're not getting a too much difference, but now you can see it's, it's a little bit more bouncy. And maybe if we could uh, 
uh, try to uh, put in in a sequential way here, like the first the B and O and and the way it goes. Maybe let's change the at uh, the emitter instead of default. Maybe we can change to sequence and after that at the emitter also uh, if we just change the side the type to edge now it's way more thick I think it's better for the title intro and we've just set the edge to edge width now it's it's more like in a sequential way. Yeah, looks good. Uh, and to avoid the like the repetition, maybe we could set the and some animation here. So I just move it one frame and set to zero. Now it just stop emitting particles, but it's not completing. So we can. We have to adjust here for maybe here. Well, looks looks good. Uh, it's not just uh, uh, maybe we. It's not too much readable here. So one thing that we could uh, do uh, set some. At the shadow properties let's tweak this a little bit and we can change the the color here yeah looks better and also let's maybe opacity let's decrease a little bit and also the blur the blurness well, looks nice, but uh, I, I think it's not so fun. Maybe we can uh, try some extra movement, and now we can also can change the text. So uh, let's put a more like like a random rotation, and also the position. It's too much linear, so we can add some text movement even like the rotation uh, and we can change instead of using a like a linear selector just delete this and put the uh, wiggly selector and now you have a more maybe fun movement cool and also uh, Let's add some, like, uh, a contour here. So we can just duplicate the emitter and also the particle. And at the, this particle, let's change to solid color. Let's link it. Cool. And you can get some cool result just experimenting uh, at the meter here. Maybe we could put this like in the front. We can also add the particle. Maybe set size here and also link to the motion node. And just tweaking a little bit more, you can get this kind of result. That's it guys, hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.